welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I make scrunchies and bows. I've been doing so for 10 years now. And in today's video, I'm going to be getting ready my February launch. Uh, and before I get too ahead of myself, please remember to like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more content. I'm trying to post more stuff. I'm trying to film more things to make it a bit different because it's been very much the same, same, same for like the past like year or so, probably two years. So many new content ideas and things to do. It's just finding the time to do them. Today's video, I have a few interesting things that uh, will be going up this month. I wasn't going to do the monthly launches, but I think I will stick to that and just maybe do smaller ones because it just kind of gives me like a deadline to do things and that helps me a lot. This month, I'm going to be releasing the Easter range because it is February and it will be released I think on the 8th or something of Feb and so that gives enough time to get to you know overseas buyers so I'll be doing that got a few new like colors and stuff to go up as well and I'm also going to be releasing these new scrunchies I'm doing it's kind of two birds one stone these scrunchies and bows it's to give back to the community so I'll be doing like the charity scrunchies practically. So the profits from these scrunchies will be going towards charity that you guys suggest. Uh, so I put up my story, I think last week when I announced it to sort of like get some feelers and see who I should donate the proceeds to. Some amazing suggestions. But I think this month I'll be going with suicide, like something to do with suicide. I just need to figure out which one's gonna be the best. Cause obviously there's a few different ones. So I'll have to have a look at which ones I should donate to. That's where I'm going to be going with that. And then next month I'll do like a different place to donate to. So I'm going to be using textiles that may have otherwise ended up in landfill, such as stuff from the op shops. A lot more that I need to learn, but from what I've heard, a lot of like the op shops, a lot of the stuff just ends up in landfill because there's just too much of it. <laughs> so I mean like, I'm, it's literally a tiniest grain of salt compared, I guess, what could be done. But one grain of salt is better than nothing, I think. And maybe by sharing this, it might give other people inspiration to use recycled textiles rather than, you know, purchasing new stuff. And I want to do series on revamping op shop clothing as well to new clothing and kind of steering away from like fast fashion type of stuff. That's like my plan. We'll see how it goes because <laughs> obviously with my skill set at the moment for clothes, it's not amazing. But this year I'm trying to uh, broaden my skill set and try and learn more things about sewing. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this sort of, I guess I've been calling it charity scrunchies. It's like two in one. So I'm very excited for those. So I still have to go and select some pieces, I guess, go to the op shop, I suppose. There are places I can get like materials that will specifically end up in landfill. I just, I'm not sure where. So if you know where might be better to do that, let me know because I don't know if like the op shop's the best spot to be getting this sort of stuff or if there's somewhere else. Just let me know. I do follow quite a few like recycled textile pages that get like their donations and then either recycle it into new fabric or like they recycle it into other things, which I find really, really cool and like an, a great initiative. I don't know if there's like a spot specifically you can get that sort of stuff or if you just get it from the op shops. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway. So that's what uh, I was planning to do and I'm also wanting to do a lot more different items this month because I feel like I haven't been doing many of the key fobs or the bows and I don't promote it much on my site either. So I want to try and promote stuff that is still in trend, which are the bows. Bows are coming back in. These are some of the materials that I've selected on live with you guys. So these obviously all won't be going up. But, oh, I was going to go through them anyway. So I was thinking about putting a B1 back up, sort of for the Easter collection, but also because my B1 that I currently have, it's out of stock. I was also going to do this one with the Easter collection. A blue sort of ties in with the yellow bunnies. I going to do this one. I sort of like to choose ones that complement each other with the Easter collection. Well, with collections in general. So this one, because it goes with all of them and it's gingham. I was going to do this one, which is a cute little uh, ducky one. I haven't got too many of the bunny ones, but I was going to do maybe bows in these ones. And I feel like, I feel like I need another one to like kind of offset that. I don't know if I have any other Easter specific ones left though. I was thinking maybe another gingham. 
I do have one like this, which is like fluffy. I feel like this would be a good start for the Easter collection. I got barely any of that one left either. I think this one's already up online, so I'll probably just re-upload that one and just put that there's only two left, or well, four scrunchies left. So it's a pink one. Okay, so that's done for the Easter. And then I'm thinking this new collection, I'm not really sure what to do or which way to go with it. I'm thinking more spring colours. So I was thinking maybe this one, that one, something like that. I did want to put Freya back up, but I'm not too sure now. Maybe something like this. It's a bit more like bright. I was thinking about putting the shapes up because I just think they're cute. This road is so busy today. There's so many cars going past. That one. I do feel like this one's already up. Maybe not. Maybe one that's a bit more bright. I feel like it doesn't really go with it though. Maybe one like that. So I actually don't have this one up online, but I've made heaps of them. So I'm going to put that one in. Daisies. I feel like I need something a bit more not floral, so I suppose. I also need ones that I can make into XLs. So that one can be just an XL. Maybe I do put these ones up. <laughs> so I've got these beautiful colours. I feel like I need maybe one orangey one. Sounds like quite bright. Okay, so I feel like I'm going to take a lot of inspiration from these colours. Let's have a look. So this is the main one that I'm thinking. So I'm thinking maybe something like that. That one goes really nicely with it. That one. Then we've got another green. I do want to just put that one up because I've already got heaps of it. Maybe not because it doesn't really go with this month's ones. Do you like that one? Because that goes really nicely with that. I feel like these are almost two separate ones I could do. Like I could do, do that one in March almost. Because I've already got all the Easter going up. I feel like this one's a bit more brighter. And perhaps I'll do this one in the next launch. So they're more like pinky colours. And these ones are more brighter, like mustards, bright greens. Those sort of colours. Alright, so I think this is my final. I've got some satin ones, cotton, rayon, um, more cotton pieces. I'll save these for next month because I'll do these as like a Mother's Day launch, like drop. Because uh, Mother's Day is in May apparently. <laughs> And then we've got the Easter stuff. So there is going to be heaps of stuff going up. I think for now I'm going to select which ones are going to be what size scrunchie. So that one's going to be an XL because it's not an XL yet on one.
I think I'm just going to do one of each for now because it's this is such a big launch. And I'll put everything else with the stuff I'm doing for the scrunchie wall. Because here is my scrunchie wall and it currently, yeah, looks like that because I haven't sewn anything. I am debating though to do the ones that I have to do a certain colour for. So those ones I sort of do have to. I have to get for them too. I really have to do all these in the same colour, like the thread.
sort of almost regret not taking all the photos in the light box. A lot of them did turn out a lot darker than I was hoping compared to what it would have turned out on the light box. But that's all right. So I ended up editing the photos twice because the first time I edited them, I just used the settings I usually use for the light box and it was just, yeah, they were terrible. They were so like oversaturated and so dark. So I've just pretty much just lightened all of these photos. Um, I use Photoscape on my MacBook to first edit the photos in bulk. And then I use Photo Room, I think, on my iPad to remove all the backgrounds. I'm gonna go head into the op shops now and see what I can find. I'll bring you guys with me. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna get. Alright guys, I'm back from the shops. I did manage to get a few different fabrics for the vlog I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Disappointed with them though because the ones I wanted wasn't there. But I did go to a couple op shops and have a look around and try and find some fabric that I can use for the charity scrunchies. I chose this one. It's an XL men's shirt and it's like the colours and stuff that I like. So I chose that one and I also got two like florally prints. I don't know how they'll go. Uh, one's a skirt and one's just the top. But I'm gonna go pop those in the wash right now so I can get making them so I can get this launch up. I think first off what I'm gonna do is just cut down all the seams. I've never really uh, cut into stuff like this before I guess. But I think that's the best plan of attack. Might quickly iron this before I go any further.
right, so I've got a few mini scrunchies, some regular size scrunchies, and some bows. I'm not sure if I'll put the bows up. These are scrap materials from the shirt. So I think I did pretty well trying to get as much as I could out of it. So I'll keep this lining because I'll definitely be able to use it for maybe one of my own dresses. I was actually able to use most of the skirt, which was good. So there's really only these scraps, which is barely anything, and then the waistband.
Hey guys, so I did the launch last night. I ended up uploading everything. I received one order. I don't know whether it is me or it's just the economy. I don't know at this point because I'm like, I'm doing everything I can possibly do to like get orders, but they're just not coming in. So I don't, I don't know. And like, I've got all these different products. So I'm like, well, if it was just scrunchies, that was like, you know, going out of style, fair enough. But I've got you know, the bows and stuff, which I know are trending. I had all the key fobs and stuff. So I don't know. It is a bit disheartening, I guess. So yeah, we'll see how it goes the next few days. Thank you so much for coming along on my February making launch. Hope you guys enjoyed it, making all the different products. I'm going to get going now because I have a massive day today getting ready for the Italian fiesta. So much to make and do. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.